I like to say we are between the last mortal generation and the first immortal generation. We are joined by the summit's main speaker on the issue, Jose Cordero, who says the new tech being pioneered today will make death optional. Shinya Yamanaka, he discovered four genes that control aging. And you can actually modify these genes to become young again. There is a lot of money being put into this, which is called cellular reprogramming, because we can reprogram the age of the cell. If people want to become older, we will be able to do that too. We can actually accelerate aging, stop aging, and reverse aging. If we're all connected to the cloud, how will we still maintain our personality or our intelligence? One could also argue that we're already connected to the cloud or internet anyway, because we all carry our phones around. And once we can connect to the cloud, we will be able to transmit our thoughts also faster. And we will also have computational capabilities that we don't have now. We will have like a bigger chip, a bigger brain with bigger memories and, and bigger uh, transmission speed and uh, computational capabilities. We've never been happy with our body. Sure, we're happy with the way it looks and things like this, but we were uncomfortable walking on the ground, so we invented shoes. We weren't very good at fishing, so we invented fishing hooks and fishing rods. So we've always been using technology throughout the years in order to make us better, faster, stronger. Just like we will longevity, escape, velocity, we will also pass the Alan Turing test, which is the time when you don't know if you are talking to a human or to a machine. Do you know if I'm not a machine, if I'm not an artificial intelligence?